Welcome to Barry Science Lab Astronomy. I'm your host Rifaz Bari. Over the course of this series, we're going to explore every single facet of the universe, from black holes to galaxies, from our solar system to exoplanets, from dark matter to dark energy. This series is going to explore all the topics in astronomy you ever wanted to know about, but in greater detail. We'll even explore some of the equations behind the great ideas. And so if you want to join me in for this ride, put on your seatbelts and let's go ahead and check out the first inaugural episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy. Before we begin exploring the universe, it's important to understand what our vantage point is. Where are we and what are we doing? Well, I think no one put it better than the great Carl Sagan himself, the great astronomer and science popularizer. Carl Sagan said this, Every human that you ever knew, every human that you ever will know, every one of the 54 billion humans that has ever lived, every genius scientist, every warmonger, every brilliant entrepreneur, has lived on the surface of this small speck of cosmic dust, or as we call it, the Earth. This pale blue dot is stranded in the midst of a vast cosmic darkness known as the universe. And we are just small tiny inhabitants of this small tiny speck of dust. And so astronomy is really a lesson in humility. Right? It shows you how small humans are, how tiny our troubles are in compared to the vast uh, scales of the universe. Now to really ground ourselves properly, we need to get a sense of where we are in space and time. What is our cosmic address? And to understand that, I turn it over to our guest. Why the address is important? As a kid, I had to memorize my address because in case I get lost. If I go outside the Lindbrook, if someone asks me where do you live, I say Lindbrook, Long Island. If I go uh, outside the New York and, uh, and I, if someone asks where do you live, I say uh, Lindbrook, New York. If I go to Africa, if someone asks where do you live, I say Lindbrook, New York, United States. And that's, that's all I had experience. I never went to anywhere else except the Earth. What if I go to moon and if someone asks where do you live, then I have to say Lindbrook, New York, United States, Earth. You get it. So now the, the, it, it, can, it can keep going on and on and on. So how do we find our absolute cosmic address? Let's talk about the Earth's cosmic address. And no, don't get confused between your cosmic address and your postal service address because they are most definitely not the same. So anyway, what is our cosmic address as Earth? Well, Earth is one of eight planets in our solar system. However, our solar system is one of many, many star systems in our galaxy, the Milky Way. And our galaxy is part of a cluster of galaxies and what is referred to as a local group because it's our local group it's local and this local group is just part of a super cluster of many many galaxies and these collections of super clusters create our universe so our cosmic address is a little bit complicated you, and I guess deliveries have to be pretty precise if you're working with the Cosmic Postal Service. But that's just how it is in the universe. Hey there folks, hopefully you enjoyed the first episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. We'll check you out in the next one.